to an investigation now looking at thrill seekers known as rooftoppers, urban daredevils who ignore the rules, climb buildings and cranes, all to get the perfect shot. But those huge heights come with huge risks, and we've learned one of the climbers in Toronto recently plunged to his death. CTV's John Woodward joins us now, and John, his parents have a warning. Yeah, Michelle, in an interview with the parents of the young man who perished, they're telling us that they believe their son died trying to get to the top of a Toronto building. And they're warning, no matter how many clicks and likes and videos this gets on social media, they're not worth your life. And I'm sure I don't have to tell you, the activities you are about to see are extremely dangerous. I just wanna... A young man's feet dangled dozens of stories up over Front Street in Toronto, among several videos posted to a TikTok account called Mr. Infiltration. He says on the site he's been among a group of people addicted to the thrill of climbing city structures and taking and posting photos and videos for six years. That young man's real name is Conrad Rybicki, and he was 22 years old when one of these ventures apparently went wrong. He plunged 20 stories to his death from Toronto's Hyatt Regency Hotel on May 23rd. I cannot speak. I'm sorry. In an interview from Poland, Rybicki's parents say they were devastated when they got the call from Toronto police. You know, he had big dreams. He wanted to do so much with his life. And have a message they want to pass on to the groups that are constantly challenging security in the city's high rises. Watch out what you're doing because this isn't, this isn't fun. This isn't the, the entertainment that young people should be interested in, should be after because it's, it's so dangerous. Rooftopping gained traction in Toronto in part due to local photographers, but thrill seekers worldwide have climbed looking for that perfect shot. Others have died in the pursuit, including in China, Russia, and in Chicago. Rybicki's could be the first rooftopping death in Toronto. I think that we need to have a serious conversation. Academic Ricky Crono says the risky behavior is supercharged by likes and clicks on social media, especially when the daredevils and the platforms can make money from these videos. And there's a lot of you know, monetary incentive to take, you know, to, to take risks, to get more, you know, to get more views, to get more followers, to get more attention. On TikTok, some videos are tagged with a warning, others aren't. Right, Bicky's parents say they are starting a foundation in their son's memory. That's how it ended uh, for, for our son, and um, that's how we do not want to end for other, for children of other parents. These pictures, he says, are not worth dying for. Both the Toronto Police and the Ontario Coroner Service are investigating the death, which they say is not suspicious, but we don't have an official cause of death yet. The parents want buildings to increase their efforts to secure access to the rooftops and are looking for others to join them in their foundation. Reporting live, uh, I'm John Woodward. Back to you.